Alright, we're back. And today we're going to be weight painting the dog that we rigged. Um, so if you haven't already, then select the root and bind the skin to the um, joint hierarchy. And you do this by selecting on the mesh of the dog and selecting on the root and going to skeleton bind. <clears throat> Once you've binded your skeleton to the mesh, um, I suggest moving some of the IK handles or some of the joints around to get a feel for how your dog functions right now or how the weight is distributed amongst your dog. And then you'll find um, things that you may not like or things that you do like or things that you want to change. Um, and that is where weight painting comes in handy. So as you can see, my uh, front leg doesn't behave the way I want it to, so I'm going to need to do some weight painting. Uh, good, a good practice for weight painting is to animate the joint that you will be weight painting. And this is so that you can see the difference um, that weight painting makes while, hap while you're doing it, so real time. Um, there are many different methods of weight painting. You can do replace, add, scale, and smooth. Um, I normally stick to the, the three, replace, add, and smooth. Um, and right now I am replacing all of the weight with zero right now because I do not want the joint that I am working with to have influence over the um, colored areas and if your um, if your weight painting uh, if it doesn't look how mine does it is probably because um, I have mine heat mapped and yours may be white and gray um, and that can be changed just by scrolling down in the tool settings and uh, adjusting it. <clears throat> so as you can see, not only was the um, shoulder joint affecting the body, but the elbow joint was also affecting the body. So um, just because you fixed one part um, doesn't mean that something else isn't affecting it as well. So um, yeah, you you got to just check. You got to find the bugs and the quirks and fix them. Uh, one good um, trick to use when weight painting is once you do one half of the geometry, you can mirror the weights of the, um, the weights that you just painted and that can be done in skinning, in the skin menu, and you do mirror weights. Although, sometimes when you mirror the weights, it will not be perfect. Um, so, as I'm doing right now, you may have to go back and um, do some refinements on the weight painting. <clears throat> now, to test out some of my, uh, to test out how my dog behaves, I begin animating a few, um, a few joints and a few IKs. Um, I'd like to re remind you that if this video is going too fast for you, you can watch it in its full length um, by adjusting the YouTube settings. This um, video is going 200% speed, so 
if you do half speed on YouTube, you should be seeing it in real time with a few frame skips, I guess. Um, Yeah, and now I'm just animating my dog to prove that it functions and that it should work. And also to see if it doesn't work, because if it doesn't work the way I want it to, I'm going to need to change that with some weight painting. But one thing I advise is that if it is not broken, if it works correctly, if it behaves the way it should, do not try to fix it or change it because unfortunately that may lead to some problems. Um, I've encountered some problems in doing so um, and it was very unfortunate. If you want to do a full walk cycle animation, then by all means, do it to your heart's content. Animate. But, um, yeah. I'm just going to do one step with this dog and show that its neck and tail have full functionality as well as its arms and legs. Um, now I'm testing to see if the ear joints work, and I see that they don't. Um, and as you can tell, the weight is distributed all over the face. Um, so I'm going to replace it with zero um, until it just is isolated on the ear. Um, as you can tell, I didn't completely... Um, uh, erase all the weight so when I try this again it will still have some glitches or a little bug so I gotta go back in and do some more um, replacing remember once you um, make changes on one side you will need to mirror the weights and um, the mirror weights does not always work perfectly so um, go back and do refinements as needed and now you should be able to walk your dog